I'm rocking with G Sports.
so much, man. We lost big man, Deontay. We lost Otis. It was, a key, it was a key to our team. Me through Otis to D. Man, we've been, play, we've been playing together our whole life. We got to work every day. We got to grind in the gym. Extra hours. Late nights. We had to get it done. Coach Bo told us every day, free throws, rebounds, turnovers. But it was going to come down to it. We shoot free throws. We'll stop practice. Like 20 minutes, shoot free throws for the rest of the practice. Ain't nobody want to do it. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to keep playing. And he sit there in the middle of the floor, let all the goals down, and yell at us. Shoot free throws. Stop talking. What you talking about? Play Fortnite when you get home. Play 2K when you get home. <laughs> Shoot free throws. So we came down to Pooh right here. I don't think Pooh missed a free throw today. Mm -hmm. He didn't miss a free throw today. And just just talk about it. in the first half, you kind of you kind of struggled a little bit, mm -hmm. but I could tell in the second half you still had that confidence, and your team still had that confidence. I saw some of your guys like telling you, like encouraging you during the second half. Just talk about how that how that kind of motivated you, and, and were you still able to turn that switch on in the second half? I knew it was gonna be tough. First half, I think I hit one tray, like a layup for free throws. I knew it was gonna be tough. But I'm not selfish. I relied on everybody else to get it done. I relied on Tim to hit that last shot. And uh, he came down. He took the ball out. He yelled at me like, I got you, dude. I knew he was going to hit it. So when I drove, the man fell. And another guy came and helped him. I knew Tim was right there to my left, on the left side of the floor. That's his, that's his sweet spot right there. He don't miss right there. And he missed it. I always enjoy watching kids compete at the highest level. 
and uh, what kids step up and make plays uh, during that time. And, um, I think we came out a little slow. We, we didn't have the, just the, the same defensive intensity that we had last game uh, for whatever reason. But, um, we picked it up a little bit, got a little foul trouble in that first half. And so uh, we just tried to go in and get into halftime and go back and recoup. Yeah, we just talked about, you know, not letting two guys beat us and, you know, maybe run a double M every now and then, um, make some of the other guys make some shots. Um, Tim and Cody are, are pretty crafty the way they, um, their body language, so to speak, where they were able to draw fouls and, you know, I didn't want to say the word block, but, you know, y'all saw the game. Um, so they was able to get us in foul trouble and get to the free throw line. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you, I can't determine how they officiate the plots, but you know, so, um, but yeah, we, we we let them get going early in the first quarter, and that, and that was on us because we didn't we didn't guard like we were supposed to in the first quarter. So I thought second half we did a much better job on them, uh, making them give it up, making them take tough shots, but you know, good good ball players make good big shots. Talking with G Sports.